OK, so let's say I wanted to integrate 3x plus 4 over x plus 1, x plus 2. I can't integrate it as it currently stands. So what I've actually got to do first is to break it up into partial fractions. And this section is all about splitting up to partial fractions and then integrating, OK? And seeing some examples of this. So what I want to do is to first of all write 3x plus 4 over x plus 1, x plus 2 in the form, equivalent form, of a over x plus 1 plus b over x plus 2. So, I'm going to multiply both sides by the x plus 1, x plus 2. So 3x plus 4 will be equivalent to a lots of x plus 2 plus b lots of x plus 1. Now, if you've never seen partial fractions before, um, this will be all a mystery to you. So I would uh, recommend you go back and watch the partial fractions videos uh, from uh, a little way back in the course. OK, so uh, because of that equivalence, I can let x be any value I like, any real value, um, and to eliminate uh, these brackets and to figure out the a and the b. So uh, I would first of all let x be minus 1. OK, and what that's going to do is the left-hand side, I'll have minus 3 plus 4, so that'd be 1. And then I'll have minus 1 plus 2, which is 1, so 1 dot of a. That bracket is 0, so I've now found a. And if I let x be minus 2, 3 lots of minus 2 is minus 6, plus 4 is minus 2. Minus 2 in there will cancel out that bracket. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, so I'll have minus b. So that means b must be 2. So I've now got the a and the b that I need. So this integral is the same as integrating 1, so that's the a, over x plus 1. And the b was 2, so 2 over x plus 2 dx. OK. Now 1 over x plus 1 will integrate to log of x plus 1. And the 2 over x plus 2 will integrate to 2 lots of log x plus 2. And I've got my plus c constant of integration. OK? Now, you could combine those two logarithms. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but if you want to know how that would work, the 2 could come up to the power there. You could combine those two logarithms using a log law. So you get log of x plus 1 times x plus 2 squared. But you still have that plus c constant of integration on the end.